Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. Today I'm with my two friends, Marcus and Alfred. We're going to be using the hydraulic ram pump, the one and a quarter size, to test two different things. The gallons per minute needed to operate the pump. And when we do that, we're going to find out the ratio of water lost to water pumped. So, let's get started. We're going to use a garden hose for the delivery pipe. We're going to use a five gallon bucket to catch the water. I'm going to attach the garden hose to the pump. Now we're going to hook up the pump to our drive pipe. Now we're going to install the drive pipe. So do you know what siphoning is? Yeah. What is it? It's whenever you got a hose hooked up to some water and it you either like suck on it or you have something pulling it and it pulls the water through. Right. So you can go from like over a ledge and then downhill. We have to do that with the hot tub. Okay. Very good. Well we have to do that here because this concrete slab is higher than our water. So we can't get the water down there because this tube is too tall. Do I get the siphon it? Yep, we do. So turn that knob on. Okay, now watch your face. Take your finger and push that open. And then let go of it. Now, just hold it open. Okay, now let go. Okay, so what's happening, guys? It's coming through this tube and this pump is drawing out all the air bubbles. Okay, so the air is out of the tube now. It's sunk underwater. Now, this piece right here keeps flapping up and down, doesn't it? Yeah. What's happening is water's coming down here, circling around. It's coming up here, and it pushes out here. Well, it gets so strong, it closes that little valve in there. It pops. When it pops, it shoots the water back down the pipe. But then, the water comes again from up there and does it again. So now, what happens if we open this other side up? It's going to stay open. Yep, and it's going to shoot water up our garden hose up that way. We're going to use the 13 gallon tub to measure the gallons per minute.
we didn't have enough feet of head and we removed the pot down to, down to the bottom of the lake and now we have four feet. <clears throat> but look how the pipe is bouncing. So it's losing efficiency. So it's losing efficiency. We're gonna do our gallons per minute test down there. So we just finished finding out how many gallons per minute the pump needs and how many gallons the output will have in the same amount of time. So how many gallons did we have down there? We had 13 and a half gallons. Okay, and how long did it take to fill that up? Two About minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. So, and how many gallons do we have up here? About five. Five gallon bucket, but about two, two gallons. Points. So. What we have then is one to six. So for every six gallons we lose down there, we get one gallon up here. But it's free. So, who wants to say goodbye? Goodbye. <laughs> say thanks for watching Land the House. Thanks for watching Land the House. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a fun video. I think the boys learned a lot and had a great time. It was surprising their attention span was over three hours. When I was their age, I never would have made it that long. So we learned that the one and a quarter hydraulic ram pump uses about seven gallons of water per minute. That was six lost for the pumping process and then one gallon pushed uphill. Now I think if we start using a more rigid pipe to uh, bring water to the pump, we'll see a much better outcome. There are several ways to test gallons per minute and I'm going to be doing another test soon, to uh, a much more controlled test to find out a more accurate uh, value. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, push thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And you might want to check out this video to the left. It's the hydraulic ram pump working underwater. Click this link and I'll see you there. Bye.